Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayers on Wednesday. I thought Psalm 27 warranted some further attention today, um, so I've returned to it. And again, I'm thinking about taking heart whilst waiting. But today I want to think about what happens when the happy ending should not be depended on. When all you can do is to wait and to live through a situation. How do we take heart then? Something we can do is to get into a routine of prayer so that um, we continue to pray and hang in there when we struggle to pray. So let's come to God, our loving Father, now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Once again, our text is Psalm 27, verses 1 to 5 and 13 to 14. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear though war break out against me. Even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek his face, seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent, and set me high upon a rock. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. I reflected that in my daily prayers yesterday, I rather anticipated a happy ending in every circumstance. And of course, we know that this often isn't the case and it would be irresponsible to be encouraging folk to hope otherwise in many situations. It's good to pray for miracles, but on the whole, they shouldn't be expected or that there be an expectation of them. We have to work out a way to carry on, to continue to carry on and stay close to God and to take heart when things are desperately sad and when they're probably not going to change. One of my fellow trainee ministers at college who did a high profile job making difficult decisions in usually tragic circumstances recommended visualising putting on an imaginary cloak to protect you from evil or traumatic elements in situations And I think you could imagine God's tent or God's dwelling acting likewise. Imagine being in a small space with God very close, sheltered from the distractions of the world. In this tent, seek God's face, his beauty. Try to remember his love for you. Take heart in this and absorb his strength. Of course, all this is easier said than done, but maybe this is a start. We come now to a time of prayer, a time of quiet, to hold those on your heart before God, particularly those who are waiting for something. We pray for what they need.
we pray for their relationship with God and that they might take heart in his comfort, his strength and his peace. And we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.